Good morning, Comets, and welcome to What AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, your daily weather outlook, and campus events. I'm your host, Ariana Flores. President Biden will deliver a speech on the economy alongside union workers in Springfield, Virginia. Today, White House Press Secretary Karen Jean Pierre said Biden will highlight his economic achievements since he took office. Facebook and Instagram are reinstating former President Trump's accounts. Meta, the owner of both social media sites, announced Trump, Trump's accounts will be made active again in the coming weeks. Trump was suspended from both platforms in 2021 after he called the Capitol rioters great patriots. Former U.S. Congressman David Nagel says the Iowa Democratic Party should continue to push for the first in the nation caucuses. In a press conference Wednesday, Nagel said the party should follow state law, which requires the Iowa caucuses to be first in the nation and go against the wishes of the Democratic National Committee. The Iowa Democratic Party is electing a new chair, in, chair this Saturday, who will play a large role in deciding if the party will follow the DNC's proposal of proposal or state law. When we come back, we'll take a look at your WIT TV sports, entertainment, news, and weather. Stay with us. Dude, you do not look ready. Yep, I guess you're right. Have you watched the news yet? No, I guess I haven't. That's why you're never ready for the day. You need your morning news. Yeah, I guess as a student, I just don't know what news is relevant to me. Just watch Wit AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news, as well as Twalk every Friday afternoon. Is that better? I think this will work. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. He makes fun of his friend who vapes. He would never try it. She's on the honor roll. She's just on the tape. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. In sports news, the Iowa Hawkeyes will try to get back in the win column when they visit Michigan State in East Lansing tonight. The Hawkeyes are coming off a 93-77 loss to Ohio State on Saturday. The defeat snapped Iowa's four-game winning streak. The Hawkeyes are 12-7 overall and 4-4 in the Big Ten. The guitarist who co-founded the Yardbirds has died at age 75. Anthony Totham started the legendary band with his friends in 1963, but left the band before it became famous. In an interview in 2013, Totham noted he was only 15 years old at the time, and his parents didn't want him leaving school to play blues in a nightclub. He went on to play guitar for Fleetwood Mac members Christine McVie and Peter Green. A statement from his agent, Anthony says Anthony Topham had been struggling with dementia and passed away peacefully on Monday, surrounded by his family. Taking a look at today's weather, today will be partly sunny with a high near 29. Tonight will be cloudy with temperatures around 34 degrees. There will be a chance of rain and snow late in the night with a gust as high as 35, 35 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be partly sunny with a high near 27 degrees. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website. 
in our YouTube page. Enjoy the rest of your day.